May profits be upon you. We're going to take a look at USD Swiss this morning. It's morning over here in uh, uh, in the US on the East Coast. So what I want to look at first is why am I looking at US dollar Swiss? Well, on the RT money meter, the rankings are such that US dollar is gaining strength. From last week, 3.93, ranked as number one, still in the number one spot, ranked, I mean, uh, uh, scored at 5.05. .05. Over the last 15 weeks, this is the rate of change, the rate of change, and is moving up. Swiss, on the other hand, the Swiss franc, last week was ranked at number five at minus 141. And now, this week, ranked at five again, but at minus 3.26, it is trending in the other direction, opposite that of US dollar. So it becomes a target. <laughs> it becomes a target this week, right? I favor US dollar strength against the weakness of the Swiss franc. Now let's take a look at the daily. What do we notice? What do we see? What is important first? The first thing we should be looking at is the trend. Right? Are we respecting lows? Pretty easy to see, right? Trending, trending up, all right? Are we taking out highs? Yeah, we are taking out highs. We got a nice dip here, all right? And then we started taking out highs again. Taking out this one, all right? This is becoming a target. Why is that becoming a target? Because it failed. This high failed to make a new low. It didn't break that low. The low that was responsible for that high. All right. So there is some strength to it because it did break structure, but it didn't break that low. So this is going to become a target for the community. All right the grand scheme of things, all right? And what we want to notice is higher highs and higher lows, all right? And uh, so we are bullish, 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 all right? Let's take a closer look at this uh, price action over here, all right? I want to mark why we have so much rejection from this area, because we ran into supply here, all right? And if we mark the supply, we can refine it, of course, to the wick, the, the wick supply here, where price penetrated up into it. All right, we are well past the 50% median uh, threshold of this zone. So the next time price comes up in here, I'm thinking that if it breaks that high, it's gonna break this high. You understand? Because of most of the orders are depleted. Most of the selling orders are depleted here. That's that's the theory, you understand? Okay, so uh, I'm looking at this chain of supply and price coming back up in here, all right, after reacting. This is the extreme of the reaction and we are already back up in here past the median threshold of this supply. So I'm thinking that, uh, again, there's, there's some orders here, but there's not a lot of selling orders here, all right? And this high, if I can find a tool, to, all right, this high didn't break that low, which is responsible for that high, breaking these, these highs, all right? So what does that mean? It becomes a target for liquidity, all right? Price did come back to this low, reacted, it held, and here we are. That structure, all right? So we gotta follow the order flow. The order flow is bullish, all right? We are breaking, we broke these highs. I'd like to see that. What are we, what are we looking at now? We go to the four hour and take a closer look at the price action, PA, all right? What I like to see is impulse, correction impulse, right? We have a lot of momentum going up into this zone of, uh, of supply, right? That's noteworthy, all right? If we saw that price was starting to get weak, 
when it ended up in here, then we might think hmm, this might be turning or something like that. But it was strong going, coming up in here. Yeah, we did it around all right, with the bank holidays and everything. So, you know, that's that's uh, something that we're going to something I'm going to take a good good note of. All right. So uh, also. Look at the displacement, look at the fair value gap. This is a inefficient price movement here. I'm expecting a correction to come. Yes, I am expecting a correction to come. And where would that correction come? Well, let's just mark our zones, all right? We have a demand zone here, all right? And it's worthy, it's, uh, I say worthy as, as in valid, all right? But it's worth, a worthy one to consider because it broke these highs, all right? Broke these highs coming up in here, all right? Taking liquidity along the way and leaving a fair value gap and imbalance. So I like this as a zone, all right? Price should come back down here. I'm expecting a boom, all right? This, that's one, all right? That's one. Do I expect price to make it all the way back down here? I don't have that high of an expectation that price will make it all the way down here, all right? I'm thinking that price may uh, find a reason. Hello, hello, hello. There you go. I'm, I'm thinking that price may have a reason somewhere around the area here, 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 because we broke through that area. All right, that price point. Oh man, I was going to try and circle that <laughs> 93,800 area. I'm thinking that uh, price may find a reason to fill this uh, fair value gap and then come back. I don't, I don't see a deep retracement from that area because of the momentum that went in, that uh, price took going into this uh, zone. All right. Uh, I also want you to take a look at a, a, uh, a price action on this lower time frame on the one hour. All right, see this. This is a zone. This is a zone, and I think it's valid. Come on, man. Why you not do that in front of company? All right. what, what are you doing up there? Why are you up here? Come on. All right, I think this may be a zone that uh, price uh, may find a reason to uh, bounce at if it makes it down here. I think we're gonna get something like that. All right, because it is in line with uh, those zones that are, you know, the, those, those reaction points that uh, I, I, I pointed out earlier. All right, so I'm looking at this one. I'm gonna keep my eye on that, all right? We have a, a, a gap, an imbalance to fill in here. So, uh, and there's liquidity, low uh, sell side liquidity for price to sweep. All right, and this would be a pullback, a correction to this impulse. And uh, you know, if I was a betting man, I'd be right around here. You know, uh, somewhere in here, all right. I'm looking for this reversal, and you're going to see the reversal really obvious on the 15, five, and one, because it's going to do something like this. All right, a low, a lower low that breaks that low, and then a high that breaks the swing high here, and you're looking for a price to come back in this uh, leg of structure. Looking for a price to come back to take that, take the ride up. All right. I look for the same thing every time. I keep saying that in every video. All right. And look at look what we got developing here, right? What what happened here? We got to look at it. We have to just make note. We see the high. All right. We see the lowest point here. All right. See this uh, pullback here. All right. Price breaks that high gives us a change of character, which is an early indication, a very early indication that price may be changing from shifting from bullish momentum to bearish momentum, okay? And, uh, and then the pullback 
into this leg of structure, like I just mentioned, all right? And you see the rejection that could be forming a right shoulder. So I'm looking for price to come down. I'm looking for price to come down here. All right, you can see that the US dollar futures, all right, look on the Dixie futures, you can see that price, uh, the US dollar, uh, Dixie rather, the Dixie is at a point of uh, being over, so overbought, excuse me, overbought, and could use a corrective pullback just to, uh, you know, the, to, to continue in the bullish uh, trend with the bullish order flow. Like you see here, this is bullish order flow. I'm looking for a correction and then a pullback, not a deep one, but some kind of correction. And if you wanna measure the correction, go to the swing low to the swing high, you can see right around the golden ratio, we're right here, we're right here. So, uh, you know, I always look for uh, a pullback into what I call uh, discount premium. This is the equilibrium of this trading zone, this, tr this trading range, the bottom and top. I divide it into half, and the top half is premium prices. We have discount prices down here. We want in this case, in this, uh, in this case, we want to wait until we get better prices past the 50%, all right? It, either it's here or it comes down here, either or, doesn't matter. As long as we get a discount price, all right? I wanna see, I, I'd like to see this uh, uh, void filled, this uh, price void or fair value gap, whatever you wanna call it. And then we take out the tops for liquidity and continue high and take the high of this uh, order block here, take that high out that I, I pointed out earlier. You know, it, 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 it makes sense to me. I don't see price crashing from here because uh, both of these currencies are trending in the opposite direction of each other. So I hope this makes sense to you because it kind of makes sense to me and that's scary. So if it comes down, I'm looking for price to, rebound like something like that there, all right? If, uh, just be careful that price could continue up bullishly and then, you know, take out the high of this zone, take out that high for liquidity and then come back now, all right? Just be careful, be careful. I don't think that's the higher probability uh, scenario uh, because it looks like we're forming a right shoulder here. So I'm looking for price to come down first. Just, you know, you just want to keep your eyes open and react to what you see and not be predictive. You want to be reactive, okay? And for some reason, my OCD is not letting me leave that there, all imperfect like that. So I gave you the reasons why I think it, we, we'll see the pullback. I'm looking for an entry for longs. All right, in the, uh, on the uh, US dollar Swiss. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a like, give a thumbs up, give, uh, 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 make sure you subscribe so you can catch the updates. Make sure you check out Lions Den FX. Uh, uh, we have free membership uh, during April, all of April to the end of April. Come and get the, uh, uh, the benefits of, have, of being in our private discord. And uh, you want to check that out for sure. All right. You see the link in the uh, description. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes with old RT money. <laughs>